Okay, in this video, I'm going to actually show you how to go ahead and create your first NFT on Atomic Assets. And like I said in previous videos, um, I love this platform because it's very cheap to create NFTs. It doesn't cost you a bunch of gas fees or anything like that. You will need a wax wallet and you will need some wax. So I already created a video for how to do that. I can link that here in the description and you should see a button somewhere on the screen that links to that video. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come into Atomic Assets, which is uh, I'll also leave a link in the description for how to get here. And you're going to go to the once you log in with your wallet, you're going to have to have that wax wallet. You log in, you're going to go to NFT creator. OK, I already have a collection, an NFT project that I'm working on. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm not going to create a second collection, but I'm just going to show you how to how to do this. OK, so you have to create a collection first okay and so the collection is going to be the overall collection where you're going to have your nfts grouped in different ways and i'll go in more detail of how you group them however the first step is to create a collection so there is a limitation here on the collection name you can only use 12 characters you can only use numbers one through five and they all have to be lowercase so it can only be 12 characters for this collection name then you can have a display name that's as many characters as you want you go ahead and add a picture by clicking this button and navigating to the picture that you want to use for that collection. If you have a website, you can put your website here. And then you're going to describe your collection here, right? I'm going to show you the one that I created for Crypto Zootopia, which is a project that I'm working on. And I might even give away an NFT here from this video, from that collection. So you leave the description here. And then this part is really important. This is the market fee. So this is the fee that you can collect every time the NFT is sold from this collection. So let's say you make one and you sell one and you want to get 5%. Every time it's sold, you would collect 5%, no matter if you were the one selling it or someone else sold it. And if it's sold 500 times, you'd still get 5% of that sale price. So um, you can set this to whatever you want. For my collection, I've set it to 10%. So let me go back and show you Crypto Zootopia, the collection. Okay, so this is the collection that I created, Crypto Zootopia. And you can check it out on Atomic Assets. Here's the description. Here's my market fee. Like I said, you can always go back and edit the collection. This is the logo and branding that I created. Um, so then what you have after a collection, remember I said you have to organize things you have what's called a schema. You have to create a schema. And so schema is like a way to classify and group NFTs within your collection. And so I have the Genesis Arc, which is the very first people who invest into Crypto Zootopia will be able to get a Genesis Arc NFT, which is the Genesis, the beginning. Um, I have Gorilla Vibes, which is the precursor to Crypto Zootopia. It's an apparel brand that I created with my wife. And then Animalia, Animalia is a scientific name for animal. And this is the base schema, the base grouping, because our NFTs are going to be about animals. Okay, so we created that. But when you create a new schema, here you can click on Create Schema. You're going to give it a name, 12 characters max again. It can be less than, though. It can be less than 12 characters on this time. Not like the collection name has to be 12 characters. And so you have name. The type of attribute it is is text. You can add an image. IMJ is image. This is, um, then you can add new attributes. So let's say um, rarity. Let's say if you want to add rarity, you can change this over here to text. Click a new one. You can do, um, let's say you want to give your NFT a special power. You can change it to text. And so this is basically like creating the template for the types of NFTs you create, the, the attributes that are going to be in the NFTs, right? You can continue to add attributes. I'm not going to do that because I already have some. Okay, so let me show you the Animalia, right? So I have name, which is text, image, which is going to be an image, the species of the animal, 
the normie name, which is what normal people call these animals, the natural habitat, and where you're going to find it. I added rarity, and then a special power. And so I already have a the very first NFT that I will possibly be gifting to one lucky person at the end of this video whenever you see this and you go and you're the first one to comment on this video I will send you a very rare um, NFT that I've created okay so then in the schema you have your assets this is the first one that I've made for this you have what's called you can mint a new asset right which is how you would create an NFT. But I'm gonna show you a better way to do it. But let me walk you through this step first. So minting an asset, you add the image of the asset. You're gonna add the account name. So if you're making this asset, you wanna enter your address, unless you're sending it to someone else, but you probably wanna own your own NFT. So you're gonna put in your address. So mine would be JF, jfkr.wham, right? And what this is going to do is it's going to give me this NFT in my wallet. Okay. Um, the number of copies, you can do 10 at a time here. But remember, because we're under the, the right schema, we have these attributes. So you can put the name, you can add the image. For the image, you can use this and it will automatically put it there. Okay. Uh, species that's specific to crypto, crypto Zootopia. Obviously, but you can see these attributes are here, right? And you would then create the asset. I'm actually going to create the asset another way. I'm going to show you, okay? This is the kind of one by one way to do it. Um, however, I want to show you the better way, which is to create a template, okay? So you're going to go here to create a template. And this is where things get cool because you can set the max supply. So you can make it more rare, which means... If you have an infinite, infinite supply, that means you can mint as many as you want of these. So something that's going to be common, you'd leave a really high supplier or, or make it infinite. You add the picture here for the asset. This is so you don't have to keep making the same asset over and over again, right? And so it's going to use the same attributes that are found in the schema that you're using, okay? And um, when you fill all this stuff out, you're going to go ahead and click Create Template. And so what that does is when you go back here is I have a template for this NFT that I want to create more than one of, right, with everything pre-filled out. So I'm going to go ahead and mint a new asset with this, with this template. After you create the template, this is how you would create the actual NFT. So I, again, I'm going to put in my name, jfkr.wham. Obviously, this is... You make sure you get your address right. This is my address. Don't put this in your window because then you're going to send me the, the NFT. Okay, so how many do I want to make? I've already minted one. I'm going to mint one more. This is where the magic comes in. Here, I already created the, the template. Boom. Okay, so that is because I use template and it fills everything out. So... The name is Beware the Wizard Cow. Here's the image hash. That's a GIF, so that's why it's animated. That's why I, I made it moving. Um, the species is, I can't even pronounce that, <laughs> but that's the scientific name for what the normies call it, normal people call a mountain goat. Okay. Natural habitat, climbing the rocky slopes of Cryptozootopia. The rarity is mythical because there will only be 10 of these ever made. And then the special power is to Sparta kick you off a mountaintop. And the uh, wizard cow has diamond hooves hodling Bitcoin since Satoshi dropped the OG NFT, right? So that's the special power that I created. A little bit of humor there. So that is essentially how you would do it, right? So now let me go ahead and create, um, because I picked template here, I'm gonna click create asset. Okay, you can see it here. It's in here, okay? So it's, it's got seven attributes. It's one asset already there. Click confirm. It's creating your transaction. Con transaction failed. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to buy some RAM. I guess I'm out of RAM. I'm just going to do two wax. That's a lot, actually. Just one wax. Buy RAM. You 
you might have to do that. You might not if you have enough uh, RAM. It's because I've been creating things and using some RAM. Okay, so close. So now I can click confirm. Waiting for confirmation. It's done. Close. Okay, so that asset is created. Um, I could have clicked that button to, to see the transaction on the Wax block blockchain, but I'm not sure if you really want to go all the way down that route. So to show you, I open up my Wax, cl Wax Cloud wallet um, in a separate window. This is what it would look like for you. And I go to NFTs, and I do have some NFTs um, already, but I would have to pick because it's not whitelisted, and I'll do another video showing you how to do that. Because it's not a big NFT brand and it's not whitelisted on the platform, you have to click the collection, right? And so I already had minted one. This is the one of one. This is one of two that have been created. And because this one was created earlier, it has a mint number. But you can see, I own this NFT, and it was created. But this time, this is the transfer history. It has all my attributes here, everything. I can transfer this. I can burn it, um, which. I can explain in a different video why you would maybe want to burn something, but here's the second one that we just minted right now on this video. And so you can see there's no there's no mint number. It just takes a while for that to show up, but it will show up if you do it. Uh, if you do one through ten, or you do ten at a time, it'll mint them one by one, and you'll have a mint number. Um, something that's cool about this platform also is you can back these NFTs with tokens, which means that you could give these NFTs intrinsic value, which means that let's say because wax can be turned into actual real money uh, via an exchange, then I can back this token, this uh, NFT with let's say 100 wax, right? And so it would always be worth at least 100 wax. And the way to get the value back is I could burn, I could burn that. If I own the NFT, I could burn that NFT, and then I would get those tokens. So you can create intrinsic value. Um, you could put $10,000 behind an NFT, and that NFT would always be worth um, $10,000 so long as you held that NFT. And whoever owns the NFT can burn the NFT and collect that value. Okay, now the price of wax might go up and down, so that price might fluctuate over time. But as you can see, this platform is really amazing. I don't see the the price going down the price should continue to increase with users increasing so that is how you make your first nft now i'm going to gift one of these nfts i'm actually going to do a drop which is a little bit more complicated which i'll make in a separate video um how to do that how to create a drop that others can see um but because i have two of these i'm going to gift one of these away so the first person to comment on this video on YouTube that then joins the Facebook group, okay, and lets me know that they want the wizard cow in the Facebook group, then I will send you this NFT, okay? So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment, subscribe, and check out the group. Uh, the group, by the way, is Teach Me How to NFT, Non-Fungible Tokens for Dummies. The um, URL is facebook.com slash groups slash NFT guide. So that is how you can get this very rare one of 10 um, NFTs that I created for Crypto Zootopia. I will send you mint number two. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys.